welcome to Fashion Zone Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to face a scalloped neckline. Here I have a scalloped neckline and it's very distinct by the outward curves. So you can have the scallops any length, any depth and the technique is going to be the same. I now have the facing and what you're going to do is put the facing onto the neckline matching all your sewing pattern markings and also the scalloped outer curves and then you're going to pin that into place ready for machine sewing. I've now pinned my facing to the neckline you can baste if you wish I'm going to be using a 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and the trick is when it comes to sewing a scalloped edge is going to be when you come into the inner curve so you're going to follow all the way around the shape of the curve and when you come to this point here you're going to be doing a straight stitch and then you're going to continue sewing a, um, along the curve shaping of the neckline. I'm going to be using a large stitch so that you can actually see what I'm doing but stick with your regular stitch. Now remember I'm going to be following the shape of the curve, pulling my pins out as I go. Right, I've come to the point where my curve and this point here is where I'm going to do a straight stitch because I don't want a point at that area of my work. So I'm just going to do one straight stitch and I'm going to use my hand wheel. There we go. Then lift my foot, pivot my work so I can continue doing the rest of my curved scalloped edge. Here we have the facing sewn to the scalloped edge. And here is a stitch that I'm talking about, this straight stitch that you will need to do for each one of the scalloped edges. And the next thing after this is to clip and grade the seams. I've clipped, trimmed and grayed the seam allowance. Now when it comes to that inner curve here, that straight stitch that we that we made, we need to make sure that we're doing a small little triangular clipping into that straight stitch area. That so that you don't get any kind of pluckering to the right side of the garment. So if I turn this upside down, hopefully you can see what it looks like there. On this one, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to get your scissors, get your work, and you're going to go into each corner of that straight stitch. But remember, don't cut into the stitching. Go there. And another one there. And there you have the little triangular cutout. Here is what the finished neckline will look like once it's been understitched and pressed. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Zone Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.